Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows twin pregnancy with one normal fetus and the other blighted ovum. You can see the gestation sac. This is the, uh, having a fetus, normal, ecomaco normal fetus. And the other sac is empty and is smaller in size as there is no fetus or fetal pole or product of conception visible in the empty gestation sac. A blighted ovum is a fertilized egg that implants itself in the uterus but doesn't become an embryo as you can see in this case. One embryo is normal, one gestation sac has a normal fetus and the other is empty. The placenta and embryonic sac form but remains empty. There is no growing baby. It is also known as an embryonic gestation or an embryonic pregnancy. It is a leading cause of early pregnancy failure or miscarriage. Often it occurs so early that the woman doesn't have no doesn't know that she has a, she is pregnant. Now you can see a small intertwin membrane is visible that is dividing the both gestation sacs. You can see a thin membrane is visible. This early pregnancy having normal fetus, you can see the fetal cardiac activity is visible and audible. In this case, the blood flow is also seen inside the this normal fetus. The intertwin membrane refers to the membrane separation between the two fetuses in a twin pregnancy. You can see again see the intertwin membrane. Although it is very thin and poorly visible. You can see the blood flow in the normal fetus. Blood flow in the fetus. <laughs> now you can see the again the blood flow seen in the normal fetus. Now this is the gestation sac and this is the other gestation sac and both are divided with this thin intertwin membrane. You can see the intertwin membrane. This refers to the membrane separation between the two fetuses in a twin pregnancy depending on the Chorionicity and amniocity, the membrane may have a number of layers, dichorionic, diamniotic, that is DCDA pregnancy, composed of two chorion, chorionic and two amniotic layers. It is also called an, the, an embryonic pregnancy, the blighted ovum, as there is no embryo that is developing baby seen in its interior. Because a blighted ovum still makes hormones, it can show up as a positive pregnancy test. A blighted ovum will cause a miscarriage usually at 7 to 12 weeks of pregnancy. A pregnancy that is a pregnancy is an embryonic if a transvaginal ultrasound reveals a sac with mean gestation sac diameter greater than 25 millimeter and no yolk sac or a mean gestation sac diameter 
more than 25 mm with no embryo. A blighted ovum causes about one out of two miscarriages carriages in the first trimester of pregnancy. A miscarriage is when pregnancy ends up on its own within the first 20 weeks. Now you can see the normal fetus. And this is the intertwined membrane that is dividing the both gestation sacs. When a woman becomes pregnant, the fertilized egg attaches to the uterine wall at about five to six weeks of pregnancy, and embryo should be present. A blighted ovum, also called an embryonic pregnancy, occurs when an early embryo never develops or stops developing and is reabsorbed or leaves an empty gestation sac, as you can see in this case. The reason this occurs is often unknown, but it may be due to chromosomal abnormalities in the fertilized egg. The gestation sac is typically visible on a transvaginal ultra ultrasound somewhere between three to five weeks of pregnancy or by the time the HCG has reached 1500 to 2000. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.